Welcome back. You are still watching the Eastern Business Report on Afia TV. I am Ifoma Ajumobi, Ifi Melody, reaching you live from the beautiful city of Enugu, Nigeria. Computer-aided manufacturing, CAM, is the use of software and computer-controlled machinery to automate a manufacturing process. A software that tells a machine how to make a product is used to attain precision. Today on the Eastern Business Reports, we look at how Tochuku Clinton Chukweke, an engineering consultant and CEO, Clinton L. Advanced Engineering Center, ABBA, has been training young engineers and manufacturers on computer aided manufacturing in ABBA. Now, Clinton L. Advanced Engineering Center won the prestigious National Merit Award of Excellence, MSME of the Year 2022, the, the most outstanding MSME in Nigeria by the former Vice President Yemi Osibanjo. We will be connecting with Tochuku online all the way from the industrial city of ABBA. But before, I mean, we will go ahead to do that. Tochuku, are you here with us? Yes. Um, how are you doing and how is about this morning, even with all of the issues around um, the prices of fuel? Yes, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, Abba is fine and, and peaceful. Um, uh, there's, there are complaints everywhere about the fuel hike, but people are still coping and hoping that it will be reversed. All right. Hoping that it will be reversed. What do you think? Do you think it's going to be reversed? I mean, what are your thoughts? Generally, of course, you are not in the decision maker and all of that. But what, what do you think? So, so, so I think, I think um, my personal opinion is that that subsidy may be the only real benefit the Nigerian market is getting from the government. So removing that subsidy is like removing the only benefit that we are sure of. We're not sort of security, we're not sort of every other thing, but at least that's the reason that people benefit from. So I think it should not be removed. And I think it's shredded in a whole lot of lack of transparency, which is part of the issue and um, people are worried about. I mean, it's only what they say and tell us that we know to some good extent. People don't understand exactly what is going on. And the fact that an oil producing country is having issues with providing Feel that should be one of the commonest thing to its citizenry. How? I mean, what would you make of that? So um, it's, it's shameful, to be honest. Uh, and um, so the the complaint that they have is that there's a, a scam surrounding the subsidy, and to solve it is to scrap it. So the the money that they're going to save will still go back to the people that have been eating the money since. So that's why for me, keep it so that the people will not be suffering. Let the let let not the masses pay for that. So, either you prove those that are behind the crime and clear the process, make it transparent as the solicitor said. Or if, if you feel you can't clear the process, then leave it the way it is. But don't impose or transfer those costs to the pharmacies that are suffering already. That's unfair and inconsiderate. Well, I wish they will also engage people properly on that because it's almost like a situation of you just stay from above and keep passing laws and policies and you know instructions down to the people not caring how it affects their businesses and the masses anyways that's a long matter and another discussion for another day which i will still engage you on from abba but right now we want to look at the solutions you have been bringing via computer aided manufacturing to the people of Abba and Nigeria as a whole. Tell us what you've been doing and why is this innovation and technology important even in Abba? Starting with Abba, of course, it's not limited to Abba, but why is it important? So um, we've been using computer um, added manufacturing processes and technologies to, um, to build tools and equipment for Nigerian manufacturers, of course, starting from, from ABBA. So we build things like molds, injection molds. Injection molds are the molds that are used in making most plastic products. Meanwhile, for those who don't know, uh, mold is the manufacturing tool that's used to mass produce literally all plastic products. So every plastic product, that, that, like this bottle of water now that I'm drinking, it came out of a mold. So there's, there's hardly any product that does not have a, a, a form of uh, mode involved in it. 
one that's plastic, even the laptop I'm using now, this casing is produced from a, a mold. So mold is the foundation of you know manufacturing. So we've been producing mold for um, Nigerian and, and Anaba manufacturers, blow molds, um, like for bottle water, for gallons, for containers, and then uh, injection molds, like hanger, plastic parts, cases and other different things. Then we also use computer manufacturing to produce um, um, spare parts for industrial equipment and machinery, as well as um, auto parts. Then we also make um, different kinds of precision um, parts and tools. So anything that, that requires high level of accuracy, you know, is, uh, is what we've been doing using computer controlled machines right here in Aba. On the importance, um, the, uh, most Nigerians may not be aware, but computer aided manufacturing is the bedrock of modern manufacturing all over the world. So most of the products that, that we consume, if not all of them, have some role played by computer manufacturing. For instance, the, the vehicles that, that we drive, many of the parts there, we are produced by, you know, um, CAM, that's uh, computer manufacturing, that's CAM or CAM. The phone, mobile phone that we use was produced by, you know, CAM. Uh, I was the CEO of uh, Apple some time ago in an interview on why Apple is in, in China. And he made a, a comment that's very interesting. He said that they, they are in China because of the volume and the quality of skills, manufacturing skills, that is in China. So think about what will happen to ABBA if we build high capacity of this kind of engineering skills, high level, high precision engineering and manufacturing skills in ABBA. We are going to be attracting global, national, international companies down to ABBA to set up in ABBA because of the abundance of, of skills in ABBA. The same thing will also happen with investors will be coming in and different companies will be coming in, into ABBA. So it will create a, a lot of development uh, in ABBA and including the uh, job creation for, for young people. That's quite interesting. Now you've been doing a lot of training, training young people there. Now there are some questions really on my mind, like can this be replicated in the manufacturing and production of textiles, shoes, and leather works that ABBA is popularly known for. And then, while you're also rounding up on that, please tell us how it has been working in ABBA generally. What are your challenges and the opportunities that you see? Yes, uh, your first question, it can be applied to virtually every manufacturing uh, process because it's about automation, you know, using computer to assist to you know, um, uh, control and automate manufacturing processes. So uh, most of the things that they do in the leather and fabric um, industry can be automated using computer-controlled machines. For instance, the abash shoe producers in the in Ariara, you know, and and the and the neighboring region, they still produce shoes and other products using the traditional manual processes which is very labor intensive and time consuming. And they're struggling to meet up with demand because they, they cannot, you know, as a human being, you are limited. But those processes like the marking that they use hand, you know, they use pattern and hand and they draw all the patterns before they start cutting. So that marking can be automated. So the computer can be maybe 20 times or 100 times faster. The same thing as cutting. Instead of using scissors to cut, you can, there are machines that do that cutting, uh, called uh, laser cutters. You just send your design to the machines, put your raw material, and then you can go, go to sleep or go to something else. Why the machine automates that? So using that um, um, cam in the last sector can increase productivity by up to 50 or 100 times. Same thing with um, income revenue for the um, producers there, and then same thing with um, uh, employment and, and, and economic development. All right, quickly, be, uh, how has uh, it been working in ABBA? Yeah, um, it's been interesting uh, and tough. Uh, of course, in, in ABBA, um, over the years, we've not had um, a supportive government. And there hasn't been any form of, you know, uh, basic government functions, you know, um, infrastructure and other basic support. In addition to that, there's been this constant harassment by uh, thugs or TAOs, you know, in the name of task force. 
So there's multiple taxation, you know, different groups coming for different things and harassing uh, business owners and producers in Aba. So it's, 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 it's not been, you know, um, good. It's not been but, easy. Yeah, but with the, new, with the new government in place, we expect a, a lot of good. A lot of change. Of that. So we are All right. About that. Thank you so much, Tochuko. That's the much we'll be able to take on the show today. But be sure that I will be coming back for you to engage you more on all that has been happening about and especially for the fact that you have stuck with ABBA, you were born and bred in ABBA, and you chose to do your business and engineering work right there in the city of ABBA. Thank you very much for the insights that you have shared so far. Yeah, thank you. The pleasure is mine. All right. Now, that was Tochuku, Clinton Chukweke, an engineering consultant and the CEO of Clinton L Advanced Engineering Center, ABBA, on computer-aided manufacturing in ABBA. Now, this will be all on Eastern Business Reports today on Afia TV.